what is up all you gorgeous people i am here to bring you a very interesting video about vchain geez i just plugged in the headphones i didn't realize how loud that was guys um i i want to talk about vchain because uh i hold on what's going on here uh i'm noticing something very <laughs> thank you uh to all of you who uh who bear through uh <laughs> The, the the production difficulties we have on this channel uh but guys no uh in all seriousness i think there's something important to discuss with v chain um i think i want to discuss a possibility i've seen a lot of cup and handles uh forming on a lot of different cryptos and for those who don't know cup and handles are, are insanely bullish um they're one of the most bullish patterns uh crypto can form like see waves is formed a cup and handle pump 70 percent um, I just put out a video talking about waves, del delving into technical analysis. After this video, check that out if you want to hear more about waves TA. But I think um, what's going on with the V chain, uh, one possibility that I'm now considering needs to be considered, which is V chain could be in the beginning stages of a cup and handle. So if V chain does indeed, whenever it is, a month, two months, three months, whatever, whenever it is, if we do indeed break above all time highs, of 23 cents right if we go above 23 cents 24 cents we're very likely in my opinion to see continuation of that uptrend and let's say we do get continuation of that uptrend what is that gonna look like well that's gonna look like a cup and handle to me now guys this is highly speculative what i'm speculating about but if we do indeed break above higher high like these highs and see like even just a little bit of continuation i think the amount of fomo that's going to kick into something like v chain is going to be insane and i see cryptos all the time make this pattern uh i've seen this in like xlm tons of cryptos that theta making these cup and handles and they pump crazy and v chain that's been breaking above every major resistance uh and hasn't reached its all-time highs with a bunch of cryptos is reaching its all-time highs i think v chain in the long term has a lot of room for the upside. I'm not a financial investor, guys. Highly speculative. But look, we broke above this channel, broke above major resistance, broke above uh, major highs. You know, we pumped uh, crazy, and so we had a consolidation. But right now, we may be making higher highs here. We, in fact, are making higher highs. Look at this. This, in my mind, looks like an ascending triangle. An ascending triangle. And we broke above and made a higher high. Now, we fell back down, right? And we may still fall back down. But we seem to be trying to test these previous highs of support. If we can indeed hold these areas of support, basically the 165, if we can hold 165 and maintain above this, guys, I think we're going to retest this high here at 187. And I think we're flying. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. But I think we're flying. Um, another thing, too, in the short term, I think this could be somewhat of a cup and handle as well. I mean, look at this. You know, consolidation. I mean, you know, this is a possibility. It's not a guarantee, guys. Like, uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin could crash tomorrow and this could go to shit. Uh, but it is definitely a strong possibility, guys. Um, VeChain is one of the coins with the best use case, in my opinion. It helps to, to improve supply chains. It already has massive partnerships with BMW. Um, a Walmart China they just they just had a new partnership with someone just sent me a link yeah hold on give me one second I'm pulling up yeah apparently they have V chain partners with US firm to power 102 billion dollars of seafood in, in the seafood industry yeah guys V chain is a monster I think V chain is a sleeping giant V chain is one of my biggest uh, bag holds it's one of the most uh, uh, one of the altcoins I'm most bullish on long term I think at the peak of this bull run, we could see a V chain between 50 cents and a dollar. Not financial advice, highly speculative. That's just a guesstimate for fun. Okay, I'm not, you know, just just for fun, guys. Okay, take that with a grain of salt. But hell, that's what I'm looking out for. I've been buying V chain really all throughout these ranges here. And uh, yeah, oh God, guys, I wish I would find. I, I wish I'd done more research earlier. But you know what? Bitcoin's not even at its all-time highs. It's not even 2021 yet. I think 2021 is going to be the year of the bull run. I'm selling the vast majority of my holdings at the end of 2021, beginning of 2022. Uh, it's just what I'm doing. Not telling you, not telling you what to do, but you know, I think that's when the bull uh, run is going to peak out. Could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, guys. Basically, um, I don't want to keep rambling on here, just repeating myself. But we need to hold above this if we can. 
If we can hold above these highs, guys, whoo, I think we're flying. I think we're flying. I think at the very least, we're going to retest these highs. If we retest these highs, I think we're going to retest all-time highs. And if we're constantly breaking out bullishly above major resistances, uh, I would wager that since the entirety of the most recent price action is bullish, and yes, we're getting pullbacks, but that just that's uh, completely rational. It makes it, it pullbacks are, are very healthy. Now we had a substantial pullback, but we found support on the you know 200 on the three hour. Let's look at the four hour. Yeah, two, two, yeah, we found the support on the 200 EMA on the four hour. This is makes all the sense in the world. And now we're 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 making higher highs, lower lower highs. How's this, this explosive to me? Except this candle, this candle right here looks bearish. So again, it, it all depends, guys. If we don't hold this, we're, we're gonna go back down. We're gonna go back down short, for sure. Either retest this green line, this red line here. Just any, we're gonna go just back down. We, we, you know, it's impossible to know exactly where, but we're likely gonna fall back down somewhere. Yeah, see, look. So this is not a guarantee, guys. But it is, I'm just talking about uh, if we can hold above. And you know, another thing we may do too is fall back down, retest this green line, retest one of our emails, and then go back up. The breakout doesn't have to be now. It's just the fact that we made a higher high is is pretty telling. Uh, but we're literally deciding right now what's going on. Oh, this is so interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is talk about GSX. And then when I'm done with that, hop back and then see where the price action is at. So, um, guys, before I talk about GSX, um, please like, subscribe, comment, share. Like, it really helps the channel. Uh, I appreciate all of you who support us. Uh, it helps out with the YouTube algorithm and stuff. It's crazy how much we've been growing as a channel, guys. It's, it's insane. Like, me, me and Messin, we run this channel. We keep talking to ourselves about, like, how we're, we're blown away at, by, by the support the channel's been getting. Like, how fast we've been growing. We started, like, making videos in September. And we're at, like, 1,600 subscribers. What? That's crazy. Thank you to everyone. Um, so, yeah. I'm, I'm going to take the, a minute to shield you sex. And then we'll hop back. You price actually see what's going on. So, um, guys, I bring this up. Uh, gold by cryptocurrency. That's what GSX is. This is made by Paul Fintech. If you like this thing and you want to participate in their coin distribution event, it's currently for sale. It's not, it's not on any exchange yet. Uh, there's a 5% sign-up bonus down in the description below, and I get a commission, I get a kickback based off that if you sign up using that link. So, you, you know, it's almost like a small ship, but, I mean, you get a 5% sign-up bonus. So just to run through what this is, Paul Fintech runs these gold mines. Uh, half of the profits from these gold mines will go to actually backing the cryptocurrency itself. They offer 30% sign-up bonus. They're selling it for $0.10, cents, working on a Binance listing. This is their timeline. I'm going to leave a link down to the website, um, their white paper, in a video where I delve in depth the pros and cons with this thing. Okay, they pay yearly dividends and they will be doing a token burn. Guys, uh, don't fall into this just because I mentioned it. Guys, I like this. I found this compelling enough for myself. But only you can decide what's best for yourself. Um, please practice risk management, portfolio diversification, and understand your own risk tolerances. Uh, you know, if, if you do your own research, you like this thing, like I said, link down in the description below. 5% sign up bonus. Guys, I, you know, if this gets listed in six months, we get a Binance listing. I think this, is gonna, this, I think this thing is going to do great. I could be wrong. I'm not a financial advisor. Okay, so you do you, boo. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so uh, as well, um, we started a Discord and a Twitter where we talk crypto and our trades and interesting stuff like that. So if you're interested in like up to date, you know, um, news and trade stuff, check out our, our uh, Twitter and Discord links for that down in the description. As well, if you uh, are interested in buying a ledger, one of the safest ways to store your crypto, there is a uh, we have an affiliate link down in the description below where uh, we get commission and you don't have to pay anymore. So it's just if you if you're considering getting a ledger, you know, it just Think about using our link as you know we, we do get kicked back off it great way to support the channel so um enough with that let's look at v chain what's going on oh, we're holding we're holding so what's interesting oh 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 guys 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 this is very very interesting for a few reasons we held the 100 on the five minute our size making higher highs lower highs uh macd histogram taken up this could go up could we could go back down, retest the 100 uh, one more time before another leg up. But the fact that we're right above this... Oh, guys. Look at this. Look at this. We're literally hovering above these highs. This is very interesting. I almost don't want to end this video because I want to see what happens. I want to... <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, if we could catch a breakout in this moment, that would be very interesting. So, hold on, guys. I'm going to I'm gonna find things to talk about here that are, that are worthwhile because I think... I think this could be very interesting. Yeah, so as we can see here, it seems like we're moving in a descending triangle. So, um, let's, you know, we'll see what happens here. We're clearly range bound between our EMAs. So once we, if we can close above our EMAs, that's very bullish. Now, if you close below, that's very bearish. Does this go either way? This is really all happening right now. Like, we're just, we're going to decide right now, like, within the next... 
the next six hours here. I'd say we're very likely to have a breakout within the next six hours where we decide whether we continue to go up or uh, or break down. This is actually very interesting. Very interesting stuff, guys. Yeah, okay, I don't think I can, uh, I don't think I can just uh, go over the same, the same TA for six hours, so I think I'll wrap it up there. Uh, guys, please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. It really does help with the channel, so appreciate all of you who do. Uh, that's it for now. Talk to you later.